everybody, welcome back. It's Gina. I've got two journals to share with you guys today. These are my design team project for Artie Mays. Um, Andrea's come out with a new kit. Um, it's a for floral collage papers with extras. And again, um, her idea of extras are what a lot of people are considering a full size kit. So it is beautiful. Um, so let's just get started and I'll show you how you use the kit. Um, this one is named Hope and this one is Faith. Uh, I want to give credit to Chrissy who is on YouTube. Um, she's got a channel and I'll put the link below. She is the inspiration behind these. Um, she recently showed how she um, created little pouches for her journals. So uh, thank you so much Chrissy for showing that. Um, Mine aren't as nice as Chrissy. She's super talented with um, fabrics and laces. But um, so this is my version. Um, it's you know a little bit more rustic, I suppose, than than uh, Chrissy's. But I will put Chrissy's channel below. Um, you guys check her out. She does beautiful, beautiful work. So we'll start with Hope. Now these are very similar. Um, I'll just go ahead and pull out the Faith one. They're very similar journals um, inside. The covers are a little bit different, as you can see. Let me make sure I got those in frame. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so inside, they've been got the same elements. They might just be in a slightly different order. Um, so let me just show you again. I'll sit. I'll sit Faith to the side, and we'll we'll look through Hope quickly. So with the little bag, it's very like I said. This this is just my version of it and you can see it's fabric with some laces. I've got some vintage laces and then just some regular um, and then I've stamped on here and this is another piece of um, vintage lace below. So it's <clears throat> just a nice little pouch to put the uh, journal in. Now the journals measure about four and a quarter by six and they're one signature um, they've been made with the envelope, and I have um, taken one of the papers from the kit and it sewn onto it, and then I've covered it with beeswax again. So um, it's another beeswax envelope journal, and I love how this has come out. It's it's a really sweet little journal. It's got a really nice feel to it, and it's got a lot in it. Even though it's a small journal, it's got a lot going on inside. So I'll give you a close-up of the front page. Um, I've put a little book plate I recently picked up. Um, these are vintage book plates. And then I've just done some collaging there. And then over here, these are some of the elements. Now what I chose to do with this kit is I um, printed two per sheet so that I could do the mini journals with it, and it worked out beautifully, guys. Um, these came out just the perfect size to do this, and I love them. I think I'm probably going to try to do, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get my um, stool out here so I can sit down. Uh, sorry about bumping that camera. So I think I'm going to um, try to do some more of the little journals. Um, because I do so love working with this size. It's just, I always feel more comfortable with, with the small journal for some reason. But having said that, it's always nice to mix things up. So here's what the papers look like. And they are just gorgeous. Uh, let's see, everything has been tea dyed. Um, here I've just taken a little envelope and did a flip out. And I've just, you know, got various things from my stash. They're not all necessarily part of this kit, uh, but you can have a good look at the kit um, and see what's included. There's a lot. She's included a lot in it. And like I said, to get the small, you know, it's basically a four, four well, it's about a four by six, four and a quarter by six. Um, you know, just printed out two <clears throat> per page and it should work 
perfectly. I guess it would in the U.S. I guess, you know, thinking about it, we're on an A4. I don't know. It should be fine, though, if you're wanting this size. I just did some um, punching throughout. Here I did just a little collaged um, craft tag. This is one of the little cards from the kit, so I've stitched that to make another little pocket, and that's another one of the tags that you get in the kit. So there was a lot um, to work with, and this has just been, um, look at that page, isn't that gorgeous? Love that. <laughs> yeah, I love this. I love how these little journals came out. They're just too sweet. And then on this side, just, um, I had some leftover, um, <clears throat> cardstock, so I've just cut that out with the die cut, and then this is one of the elements from the kit, and I just put that on there. So you got a little journaling card there, and then this is in, from my stash. Um, this is some of the background paper that you get, um, with the kit. And those are really pretty papers. And they're all, there's so many, I'll show you all the different colors that she includes with it. Let me just make sure I'm still in frame. Yeah, look at this color. Isn't that beautiful? And I love these patterns because um, they're very worn. Another one of the um, collage sheets. And then on this one, I've just taken one of my little mini um, Rolodex cards. And this is just some leftover scraps, so you've got some extra little journaling there. This is another one of the tags from the kit. And those have been tucked in. And then I'll show you. <clears throat> this was another um, little postcard that you get as part of the kit. So I just put that on there. Did some stamping. And then here I've taken um, two, now these are the tags at the regular size, so I took two of those and then hinged them with some muslin and then I put a pocket on each side. So you've got a place to, to add some more little things to it and I've got one of them, it's got the little tag inside and that's just been placed over that page so that that fits in there. Some more writing space. Here's some um, tea dyed tracing paper so if you like the crunchy sound in your journal you'll love that. And then this is another one of the full size and I've just created a little flip out here and I put one of the other little, um, you get these little pockets. <coughs> Aren't they beautiful? And that's another one of the tags, and this is just a little card from my stash. So yeah, I wanted to make sure that even though it was small, there was still plenty of room for you to write. And then in the center of the journal, I've just put this really pretty little um, silver heart bead. So that's dangling in it. It's nice because it shows at the bottom of the journal. I like that. Okay, so here you get this. It's a um, tag little pocket. And I, again, I've done, done it at half, um, you know, two per sheet. So I've stitched around that. And then I've also created a place back here for you to tuck some more things in. And that's another close-up of the papers. Beautiful papers. And then on this page, I've done another little um, flip out. So you've got you've got room. You can do some writing there. And this is just like a vintage um, postcard. And these are in Andrea's um, shop as well. And those again, I just shrunk them down so that they would fit this journal. And then that's another one of the pages that you get. Uh, here I've just done, um, it's one of my um, 
file fold, mini file folders and I created a tuck spot behind and just included some little things and then did some fussy cutting. You get a whole sheet of these um, roses in pink and white so you can fussy cut from and then here I just took some corrugated um, um, uh, you know, box and just ripped it down and then inked it up and did some stamping there so that you've got a little bit of line for writing. Um, doily, some more of the background papers. I love this page. This is probably my favorite page. Um, I did some acetate and stitched around it and then um, I created a little journal card which I hope has not gotten glued in there. <laughs> you know that's my big worry every time I do these now. Um, so yeah, I made a little tab and then it's a little journal card and I've backed it with a um, tea dyed index card so you got some lines. But isn't that pretty? Even with the tag out you've got that beautiful background peeking through. I love that page. I think that's my favorite page in here now. And like I said, each of the journals got the same elements, just a little bit different. And that's the more the background paper. It's like a really soft um, teal. And then this paper is just, it's just gorgeous. I love those colors. Some uh, an index card I've done some punching on. And then at the very back, what I chose to do here, guys, was I put a, um, I made these coin envelopes. Oh, I should probably put a little tab on these. Um, and I made a little tuck spot behind them, so I've tucked in a little journal card there. And then these... I wanted it to be, um, I didn't want it to be just plain, so I took some um, scrapbook paper and did it in reverse and then came back with Andrea's design and covered over it. So, um, you know, if you've got double sided scrapbook paper, that's the easier option, but I wanted it to coordinate with the papers uh, because they are just beautiful papers. And then the, the closure is the, um, it's like a variegated. Um, or ombre colored um, sari silk. So there it is, guys. Even though they're small, they're very, very chunky. And um, I just felt as though um, with the little, um, you know, fabric purse or clutch for this to go into, I was happy to actually leave these as they were because. The papers were just, they're just so pretty. I didn't feel a need to really do anything else to them. Um, so there we go. That is Hope. And I will set that to the side now. And then we'll very quickly go through Faith. Um, as you can see, Faith, the, it's the same fabric. It's just, um, you know, this one's showing a bit darker. So, um, and then the, this is the... Um, the paper that this one's covered in. Isn't that gorgeous? So, same thing inside, just a little bit different image there. And uh, on the back of these, if it flips over, I've also got it, you know, another one on the back so that it's double-sided. And same thing here, just, um, like I said, I placed things I know a little bit different. This is the hinged uh, double tag, double pocket thing, thingy. <laughs> when you can't think of the word, that's a thingy. <laughs> and then here's another, you know, little pocket with the same things in it. Some, uh, the tracing paper, the tag, and the journaling journaling spaces there. Um, the papers, you know, like I said, everything's the same because it was all... Um, now this was the only difference. At the center of this signature you still got the charm, but then I just took this and stitched it as a little um, paper tip-in. 
And look at how dark that um, tea dye came out on that particular page. It's almost like coffee, but I love that uh, coloring of that, and it matched so nicely with that. So that is the that is the only difference I think um, between the two is that that center one has that. And same thing here. This flips down. Yeah, this batch of papers really came out dark um, that day, and I don't. And my, I probably soaked them longer. Again, you've got pocket back here, and then a little pocket there. And these papers have been tea dyed. They just came out really, really light. So. Um, I don't think there's any white showing in this. And then this is the acetate um, little pocket here so you can see the image that peeks through there. Yeah, I really like how those have come out. Definitely been making more of those, and then the other little flip out here. Gosh, I'm just sliding all over the place today. <laughs> and then the back of the journal, same thing here. I've got an, uh, another little pocket behind with a journal card, and then this one, you've got the mushroom inside. So, I love these little coin envelopes. So there you go. That is faith and hope. Um, okay, that is it for me to, today. And I will see you guys um, here tomorrow. Tomorrow is the start of our Christmas um, uh, Gosh, I don't know what Christmas in July event. I don't know. It's not a blog hop, but I, I don't know what they call a, a hop on YouTube. I'll have to find out what the term is for that. But that starts tomorrow, guys. So I will see you here tomorrow with a project um, share for Christmas in July. I hope everybody's staying nice and cool and having a great summer. And I'll see you here tomorrow. Bye.